Hey guys, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and this is the first part of what I hope to be a rather short series covering an inventory system in Unity 3D. This series will cover C Sharp, so if you are not familiar with Unity, not familiar with uh, C Sharp in Unity, I've covered that in the past on my channel. Plenty of other people have covered it too. I would obviously suggest you view my videos, but if you would rather go somewhere else, there's plenty of other stuff out there. So get caught up a bit on that. You have to understand how loops work. That is the the main part of this. It is it, it is the key to doing this system is understanding what a for loop is. We're going to be using those quite a bit, going to be combining them, going to be stacking them. So just make sure you understand what that is. If you do, then you're pretty good to go. So I'm not going to go over that though. I've covered that in the past. So if you don't understand what that is, please go check out my other videos once again. So let me show you really quickly an example. Not an example, but this is an inventory system that I built uh, two months ago, I think, about two months ago. And this inventory system is going to be kind of the goal for this series. Let me open up this level. And we're going to start out very basic. We're going to start out literally just thinking about what an inventory system is. I'm going to be taking some notes. Then we're going to go over it step by step, going from the most basic of inventory to what we have here. Now, this doesn't look too exciting, but when you start to write this and understand what's going on behind the scenes, you might be kind of surprised at what it takes to develop this. So what we have here is we have a few slots in a window and then we have some items in those slots now I can hover over these slots and it will highlight a slot that I'm over I can also hover over an item and it'll give me a tooltip with inf information about that item so this is a sword it is a sharp sword made for stabbing it costs 11 gold I don't know what 11 gold means it has nothing to do with the game there's nothing to do with it it's just something that I want to show that you can do stats and stuff like that so, I mean, that could say 11 strength. It doesn't really matter what it does at this point. This is just an inventory system. So we have that, and it, it looks pretty good. The, the graphics are always, as, as usual, very basic. But what we do have are these fancy icons. Now, we'll have a link in the description for you to pick up these icons. These icons are not done by me, but they are available for free and they are quite nice so i will give you a link in the description be sure to check that what we also have is a drag and drop system now this is probably the hardest part about this really is getting the drag and drop to work properly because you have to understand what's going on these items take up a slot then i click and drag it removes an item from that slot and what's actually happening is i have an icon drawn at the mouse position and then so now I've stored the information about that item just in a variable somewhere right and then when I release over a slot it will add the information then I received from the item I dragged and place it in the slot that I release on so if I release there that item is now there if I release out here it just goes back to its original spot we don't want to you know just drop it maybe you do maybe you want to if you want release outside of a slot drop it in the game world that's up to you this has nothing to do with that so do that that's completely based on your game so do that if you want to also item swapping that is another very difficult thing we're going to try to get to this too and I want to cover it I want, I want to do as good as I can about covering this it's, it's pretty complex stuff I'm, I'm not I don't want to build it up to sound like the super hard thing because it's not but what we've covered in the past do, does not even compare to what we're going to be doing in this series and if you've not come from my past series well then we'll just have some fun so that's all there is to this now well, there's also a add and remove system so to go through find a slot add an item to that slot and there's a remove system where you can check to see if an item does exist in your inventory and if it does remove the item so I have that in place here I can right click and use a potion if it's if it's labeled as a consumable which will go over uh, different attributes and stuff but if it's labeled as a consumable in this system I right click and it deletes the item from the inventory and it says uh, used potion okay so 
instead of just making it print a statement, you can make it increase your player's health or your player's attack speed or strength or walk speed or something crazy like that. Whatever you want to do. Each item doing different things, obviously. And we'll go over, well, maybe. We'll maybe go over implementing those in a actual game environment, but maybe not. It just depends on how this goes. So, I mean, because that's always, as usual, based completely on your game, right? So maybe we'll go over a generic way of doing it. So now I have the sword and the maces here. So if I right click on those, they don't delete the item because that's not how it works. But it does say equipped sword. So we do have the information. Uh, so instead of just printing, I could, again, you know, add stats to my character, uh, move this from this slot to an equipment slot somewhere, or highlight the sword and say this is your selected your selected weapon and make sure you add the stats that way or do something like that it's it's again completely up to you so this is what we are going to try to achieve i created this uh, this inventory a couple months ago so i'm not going to say we're going to get exactly this it may be completely different it may not it may be a lot better maybe a lot worse we'll, we'll do our best though right I'll give you a brief look at what's going on behind the scenes and then we will jump right in. So I have over here an item database. This contains all of our items and and eh, it's not really the most the, the best organized way to do it, but it does work. It's just in a list and each item is an element in that list. We have an ID, a name, a description, a value, a type, so sword, shield, consumable quest. Again, that's always up to you on what those are. The icon and the item object. The item object we may not cover, but that is something I was working on. It, it, you just, well, something that does work, but you just uh, give it the model for the item or like the prefab for the actual item. You know, say it's a 3D object. And that way, say the sword, I would give it a sword model. And then when I drop the sword in the world or if I equip the sword of my player, you'll see that 3D model rendered on the player or in the game world wherever you dropped it. That's what the uh, item world, item object is. So that's all this is. If I want to add items to the database, I'll just increase the size of the list. I can do it dynamically uh, through code. And then the inventory is, ignore all this stuff, it's just stuff I was playing with. So the inventory contains a total of 24 slots you can change that if you wish or 25 slots because of zero and then you have slots which is also the same now slots uh, has no reason to be public well, neither does inventory really but slots is would be the empty spaces here and items or inventory would be the actual items so if i was to look at the first one it'd be a sword then the second one would be empty because you know there's nothing there the third one would be the mace uh, so these, though, are just empty uh, slots. So what we do with these is I make slot, right now slot 1 is equal to uh, slot 1 of the inventory. That'll make more sense later on when we actually get to running this stuff. Then I have a quick weapon if you wanted to do this. See it, uh, if I was to right click the mace, it does change it to that. So I do have the equipment going that far, but that's, again, up to you. We may cover that on a generic level if you are interested, so do let me know in the comments below. And then the code, really quickly. It's It, it might be a little confusing if I had to show it to you, but I'm going to anyway. So um, this is just calling a method a few times, anywhere with that. But what I'm doing is... I'm not going to explain it right now. I do have all this commented because my idea was... I was going to write this up and release it as a download or like an asset package for you guys to get and play with. Uh, but that didn't happen. I was writing these comments and I was like, God, why don't I just make a video on this? It's taking a long time to uh, comment each thing is important in this. So I got bored of the commenting stuff and I'm, here I am, you know, uh, recording a video. So uh, I'm not going to go over this, but we will be writing our own from scratch so that should be quite fun we will go from literally nothing well we'll have item icons probably we probably won't make our own item icons but we'll have nothing right and then we're going to make the art for the inventory the slots and the hover graphic we'll make sure we do that and if you can tell the tooltip 
background is actually just the slot. And it's using a sliced sprite so it can scale it in all directions and not distort it too badly. So it looks pretty cool. So we'll be going over that and a lot of stuff to cover. And I've been waiting to do a tutorial like this for a long time. Just didn't know if coming off a very basic series, going into this more advanced series would be a good idea. But I just felt like doing it today, so I'm like, I want to do it. And if they like it, they like it. And hope you like it. So that's it for the introduction to the series. Please subscribe if you want to see more of this series. Do hit that like button if you are excited for this. And leave me a comment to let me know about it. My name is Austin, and I will see you in part two, where we actually start writing an inventory system.